Hey guys, before you watch the video, um, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hey guys, Sam, I'm gonna be showing you how to drift an RC car. So one of the first major steps to drifting an RC car is getting the rear end to slide up, or the rear tires to lose traction. And the second part is steering it. You wanna keep the front end um, in front of it and make sure it does not spin out and you don't want to overcorrect or undercorrect. A couple methods to um, releasing the rear end or losing traction is to pull throttle because then that spins in a little faster. A lot of time like right there it pulls out the rear end. Like even when I'm not steering it'll still pull out the rear end. Maybe not so much. Another me method is when you have tires like these or tires that slip when you turn sharp at speeds. Like right there, these tires are slipping. Um, that, you don't really need to pull through all the slip out because if you steer enough, it'll just slip out already. And this reduces a bit of tire wear because you're not really burning up the tires, they're just sliding. The next tip is the steering. To, to drift, you wanna make sure that you steer the direction of your drift and your rear tires will off, often um, follow your fronts as long as you don't burn out. You don't want your rear end to slide um, too close to where your front end is because if it slides, like if I'm going like this and the rear end is sliding the same way as the um, front tires, if the rear end starts sliding faster and gets in front of it, you'll spin out. Like, let's see. See there, I spun out. I lost all control of the drift. Um, the second part of the steering is to counter the rear end. So once it starts to slide, you'll want to use a bit and a lot of steering, depending on how much, how fast your rear end slides. You want to move your tires the opposite direction, or else you will you will burn out. Like see right there, I wasn't even steering. Watch. Not even steering anymore, it's still spinning. At that point, I'm pretty much, everything to do with the car, once it starts to slide, is um, throttle at that point, and that depends how much, how much your rear end slides out, and how much your rear end sticks. So I'll, I'll quickly demo some drifts around this manhole. That one I spun out because I pulled too much throttle, which I released the rear end a little too much. I had the steering cranked, and a lot of times you'll spin out because you either have the throttle, like right there, that was a perfect drift. And if you saw at the end, I countered the steering. See, right there, you saw my front tire. I'll probably put it in slow-mo. My front tire stopped spinning and my rear end kept on sliding around the front tire. If you have lots of traction, you will want to be pulling throttle. Um, it is harder with these two-wheel drive vehicles to control drift. This is a two-wheel drive slash. But, and oh, another, thing that determines all your steering you'll need and how much your rear end will slide is your suspension setup. Um, mine really, my front end is really loose and when I turn sharp it likes to flex a lot. Um, my rear end is a little stiffer um, just so that the rear wheels don't lift off the ground when I turn because sometimes if I pull enough throttle 
one, only one of the rear tires will spin and it'll diff out. Another thing I'll do to release the rear end sometimes is I'll just let off the throttle and then crank the steering, like right there. Um, that just kind of activates a little bit of slide before because your vehicle wants to slow down and it's creating a bit of resistance. And then once you steer, it just gives. Then if you pull out of that with a bunch of throttle, like that, it'll crunch up and it will slide out. But if you want to keep a consistent drift, like right there. <laughs> Sometimes you want to um, be tapping on and off the throttle, like right now. Like if I tap on and off, it'll kind of, it'll do that. But if I hold it, it'll just eventually just go in straight circles. Which isn't good. Really, it, it all depends on what vehicle you're running. But the main focus is um, the throttle and the steering. Like for me, I don't have to give throttle. I just, I can like go with throttle and steer. I can just steer while staying at a constant rate of throttle. And depending on what speed I'm going, it'll throw the rear end or it'll slide out. But sometimes I can get nice consistent drifts with it. And um, yeah. Like this is two wheel drive, four wheel drive is a little different. It can be a little easier to drift, but yeah. It depends on your driving style and how you drive. But yeah, just focus on the throttle inputs and the steering inputs. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.